Hi, my name's Shona from Geoscience Australia. Today we're going to talk a little about how the Earth works. I'm going to use this globe to help me. I'm just going to take this chunk out and have a look at the inside. There's lots of different layers to the globe, but we're going to focus on the outer layer. This one's the crust. And you'll see that it sits underneath the ocean and also is thicker and forms the land and the continents. And I want you to remember that the crust is, is made of rocks. But when you look outside, that's the top of the crust. Even if it's got vegetation and buildings on it, it's still the crust. Now, I'll pop this piece back. And I want you to now think of the globe or the world as a giant hard boiled egg with the thin shell representing the crust. And imagine that our shell is actually cracked up. It's broken into pieces. So we're going to swap over now to looking at the world on a flat map and it's been cut out into the shape of these pieces that we call tectonic plates. This is the first one we're going to have a look at. When you have a look at that shape, I suspect some of you will think it looks like a cat with one leg or possibly a whale or maybe even an alpaca. Um, there's other things as well. You might have a wonderful imagination. Now, have a think about where this might be in the world. It might not be a shape that you recognise from looking at maps. It's actually our plate. We have Australia sitting here, but the plate is much bigger. Continents are parts of plates. And our plate might include India as well, but some maps show them as separate. But remember all that rock that's sitting there underneath the ocean, it's still part of our plate. Now, you might also know that tectonic plates move and every plate moves in a different direction at a different speed while touching the neighbouring plates around the edge. So let's have a think about the direction that our plate moves. You might like to try and point either north, south, west or east. Have a go and I'll tell you it's north with a little bit of east but we're mainly moving northwards. So we're getting closer and closer to the equator and moving further and further away from Antarctica. Now let's have a think about how fast we're moving. Can you, I'll put this down, can you hold your fingers up to represent a distance that we move in one year? Could be anything from a millimetre all the way out to a metre. Have a go. All right, correct answer? About six or seven centimetres every year. Now some of you are going, oh, that's not much. But we're really fast compared to some other continents. Some of them are doing less than two centimetres a year. In fact, Australia is currently the fastest moving continent in the world. That's a, that's a big deal. Think about a lifetime for a human, 100 years of life. The ground will move seven metres in your life. That's, that's a lot. Now, I'm going to look at another plate, one of our neighbours. This is actually faster than Australia. So I've said Australia is the fastest continent. This is the fastest plate. It's also the biggest. This is, well, I call it Pac-Man plate. You may or may not know what that means. It's actually the Pacific plate. This is what's sitting underneath much of the Pacific Ocean and it's moving to the west at 10 or 11 centimetres a year. And it's one of our neighbours. So let me get this back. This is two plates together. Where plates are pushing into each other, you get lots of earthquakes happening. The rocks scrape past each other in some way. So around the edges of our plates, that's where most earthquakes happen. You might be wondering, is Pac-Man eating Australia? No. What happens is the rocks underneath the ocean come along and then they slide underneath. But that's why we get lots of these earthquakes happening around New Zealand and to the north. We get lots of earthquakes happening along this edge as it slides underneath Indonesia, up here. So, what about Australia? Do we get earthquakes? You might think, well, no, they're all around the edges. But we do. We do still get earthquakes. Not as big, not as many, but we do get them because in some way or another, our continent is getting stressed and every now and again those rocks will move.